there's no such thing as a magnetic monopole. So the simplest approximation we have of any real magnetic field is as a dipole. And it can be a pretty good approximation whenever we're looking at permanent magnets. The magnetic force from one dipole can enact a torque on another magnetic dipole, such that they will always want to align with each other, both pointing in the same direction. Here we have the simplest version of that, two bar magnets, two dipoles. They're just on swivels. They're not connected in any way. As I spin one, the other will spin to align with it. And it doesn't matter which one I spin because they react to each other. A more direct example might be taking a little cylinder magnet and putting it next to a larger bar magnet. I'm not doing any palm tricks. This magnet is naturally realigning itself with the magnetic field from the bar magnet. Compasses, too, can be looked at as dipole magnets. The Earth's magnetic field is also a giant dipole field and all these compasses are going to want to align with it. That's why they always point north, because that's the same direction that the Earth's magnetic field points in, at least the horizontal component of it. Of course, when I present it with a stronger magnetic field, they are all going to want to align with it. The dipole magnetic field of this permanent magnet points out and around, and so do the compasses. As I turn the magnet, the compasses are all going to want to realign with the new magnetic field. The reason this permanent magnet doesn't respond to the compasses is because the magnetic field from each of these compasses is incredibly small. And compared to that, the weight of this magnet is comparably large. So the magnet does not visibly react to the magnetic field from the compasses. The compass needles, however, are incredibly light. And the magnetic field from this magnet is very strong. So the compass needles are what are going to react.